I have both the burden and the blessing of not being able to sit still well. I sometimes think that just being able to sit still by the fire and do nothing would be enjoyable, but it's not really what I like. Hi, I'm Carl Caluza, and I work at Rebound Orthopedics and Neurosurgery. I specialize in non-surgical sports medicine and family medicine. I'm also board certified in osteopathic manipulation. I'm the team physician for the Portland Trailblazers, and I specifically serve the role of primary care physician and then sports optimization. I've been in practice for about 20 years, and I absolutely love my job. I decided to go into medicine after thinking about alternative career options. I really enjoyed cooking, so I looked at going to culinary school. I also thought about being an economics professor, which I think I would have really enjoyed. But my dad is probably my biggest role model, and he's a physician, and I thought I'd be good at it. And so that's, that's the reason I went that direction. I really enjoy the practice setting that I get to work in. It's definitely not a stereotypical sterile doctor's office. I have two main goals when I'm at work. One is to take awesome care of patients and the other is to have fun while I'm doing it. And I can't be having fun if patients aren't being well taken care of. So that's kind of a non-negotiable. Everyone in the office works together as a team in order to take care of patients. Everyone has ownership in doing that. Everyone has responsibility in doing it. So it's not just me. When a patient comes in, I have to rely on everybody else. And it's an honor to be able to work with such great people and have such good level of trust in them. It makes the most sense to me to try and prevent a problem before it starts as, to, as opposed to dealing with the consequences of the problem we're trying to treat it after it occurs. And by thinking ahead and looking ahead and having it be very individually specific, we're able to fairly reliably prevent problems that were otherwise gonna occur down the road. I believe that there is mind, body, and spirit and that lack of health in one of those areas can influence health in another. I remember very clearly, this was about 15 years ago, I was sitting, had a patient in the room with me, I wanted to tell her that she had terminal cancer. And she looked at me in uh, an appearance of complete peace and said, thank you. I have faith that I'm going to heaven and it's a place that I long to go. And you just told me that I get to go there. And I was like, oh, like, wow. That's like increased my faith to see what her faith could do for her. So I, it's something I incorporate in my practice because it's part of who I am. And I'm trying to use all the best parts of me in order to take care of people. And I don't think I could do that as well if I held that back.